In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the streaks filters within Bet Labs. Let's go ahead and click on streaks, and the available filters will appear. Many of the filters are paired up, such as win loss streak, opponent win loss streak, ATS streak, opponent ATS streak, and so on. Let's go ahead and start with win loss streak. This one is fairly basic. You're just looking at how many games the team has won or lost in a row. A positive number indicates a winning streak. A negative number indicates a losing streak. It's important to note that the number is the exact streak that the team is on. For example, if I select 3 here, that means they're on exactly a 3-game winning streak. A 4-game winning streak would not be included. I'll go ahead and close this filter. Opponent win-loss streak will work the exact same way. You're just looking at the streak of the team that you're betting against. Next, we'll look at ATS streak. It will look the exact same as win-loss streak. Just this time, you're looking at how many games in a row a team has won or lost against the spread. Here, a zero indicates a push. But again, positive numbers indicate a winning streak, and negative numbers indicate a losing streak. Go ahead and close that filter. Next, we'll look at previous game margin. This is simply looking at a team's last game. If you want to look at a team coming off of a loss, we'd simply hit negative 1 as your endpoint here. So you're looking at a previous game margin that was negative. That indicates a loss. Same thing for a win. You would just do any positive number. You can always mouse over the graph to look at specific data points and see the record for exact game margins. You can also click the List View button located in the top right and then select certain data points that way. Go ahead and close this filter. Again, Opponent Previous Game Margin will work the same way. Same with Previous Game ATS Margin and Opponent Previous Game ATS Margin. The filter will work the exact same way, just this time you're looking at their margin against a spread. Next, we'll look at ATS Streak Average. This is how a team has performed against the spread over their last number of games. In this drop-down, you can select the number of games that you want to look at. And then with most filters, you can drag and select your range up here at the top. By reading the About filter, you'll see a positive number indicates the team has won against the spread. A negative number indicates the team has lost against the spread. If a team has won three games by 3, 7, and 8, then their average would be 6. Just simply adding those up, dividing. So you're simply finding the average ATS over the selected number of games. So in this instance, I have seven games selected. If I wanted to know how they were, if they were averaging a five-point win against the spread, that would be your resulting record. Go ahead and close that filter. Again, we have the same for opponent ATS streak average, and that'll work the same way. The next filter is recent score margin average. This works the same way, except instead of looking at ATS, you're just looking at the game score. Again, we provide you with an example. Again, you have a drop down to select the number of games, and then you can select your range up here above. Same for the opponent recent score margin average. Finally, we have ATS recent win percentage. In this one, you have the drop down for the number of games. Here, we'll select the drop down to five games. And then from the graph, you can see 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, or 100 percent. 0 meaning they haven't won any games against the spread in their last five. 100 mean they've won all five. And then you can see the records there. And you can also change them up here and then get your record. We'll go ahead and close this filter. And that concludes this streaks tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll look at adding some raw statistical data into our analysis.